and there were more issues upstairs. This is a nice bedroom, it's a good size. As I look up to the ceiling, that's not great. There's some damp issues, water has been coming in from somewhere, very possibly the roof, which can be costly to fix. Good thing the buyer who paid £84,000 for this house with some potentially costly problems was experienced property developer Paul. He's project managed many a renovation over the past seven years, but it wasn't his original calling. I was a musician and I did that in my 20s. Um, I had a quite successful career, kind of like a busking uh, style, so acoustic um, singing. Um, but as with any sort of music career, it, it changes, so I needed a sort of plan B. Was there a reason that you were thinking about that? Yeah, um, I had children. Um, <laughs> that does it every time. How old are they? So I've got um, Aurelia, who's the youngest, she's three, um, Noah, who's 10, and Isaac, who is 11. So that will keep you busy. Yeah, it definitely does. Paul wasn't sure if this would be a quick sale, a rental, or even a house of multiple occupation. So his budget varied from 12 up to 50,000 pounds, and he had a time scale of between three and six months. We're heading back 10 weeks later to see if musician Paul has hit all the right notes when renovating this property. When the sun comes up, in harmony with the period pieces that were already in place. He decided against making any other drastic changes as his plans are to rent it out. We did some numbers and we established that the return on investment was very similar, but there was a lot more work involved in the, the other method. In terms of the spec itself, we, we did do a lot. We did damp treatment, uh, we did the kitchen, bathroom, all carpets, all decorating. Um, and we had the electrics and plumbing sort of renewed and then we had all the windows as well and doors so it was um it is quite an extensive cosmetic refurb but we stopped short of um extending into the attic and, and doing things like that outside is looking much better too thanks to some landscaping and a lick of paint it should really strike a chord with potential tenants when they come to view it Um, there was lots of leaks coming in the roof. Um, it was quite a, a, a damaged roof and we toyed around with the idea of sort of repairing it but in the end we just thought let's just do the whole roof. The future tenants will have no problems, we'll have no uh, maintenance issues ongoing. So we went for it and we've sort of increased the budget in that area. Paul was the site manager on this project as he ran through his company. He had set himself various budgets depending on what they were going to do with it, but was hoping to spend 12 to 15 thousand pounds if doing a cosmetic refurb. We did around about 15, so it was at the, the higher end of our sort of contingency on the sale or let. Obviously we hoped for the lower end of the budget. It didn't work out, we did the higher end, but we've, um, we've got new things in the house for that. We've got a new roof, new doors, so we're happy that we've invested that money in the property. Sticking to a simple refresh has meant that Paul's team of staff and trades now have the house ready to go to the rental market a few weeks sooner than planned. They should be pleased with the hard work everyone has put in. Getting these projects done successfully is difficult. I would like to take this opportunity to say a thank you to all of the team involved. This was a good one. Um, it hasn't always been that way. We've had a lot of challenges in the past. And I think the, the reason we can do them slick at the moment is based on the past sort of failures, if you like, and the, the learnings of the past. But it's still difficult and it's still a challenge. We're very happy with the, the finished product. Paul is satisfied with the transformation. But will the local estate agent who saw the property last time be as impressed? He had recommended opening up the dining room and kitchen downstairs, and that an ensuite shower room be installed in the cupboard upstairs. I hope he isn't disappointed. 
even though the owners have not done the layout changes that I recommended, I do believe they've done a fantastic job with the refurbishment and they have gone above and beyond the normal refurbishment that I see, including new windows and new roof, but it's fresh, it's clean, and it allows someone to come in and put their own stamp on it uh, and it's got a modern feel. For you, it's a thumbs up from the agent after all, thanks to Paul going the extra mile. But doing so has cost him a total of £99,000. Will he get a good return on that investment? I would market this property at £595 per calendar month, and on the sales market, I would recommend £125,000. £125,000 is actually what we've got it at at the moment, um, if we wanted to sell it. We aren't going to sell it at the moment, we're going with the rent. So with the, the rental value, um, we would have thought it would have been about 595. However, at the moment, um, there is quite a strong rental demand um, and we have actually got an application um, before the property was finished for 650. That £650 figure means Paul is getting an 8% yield and the sales figure means he could make £26,000 before taxes in just a couple of months, which is good going. If the cash flow of the property business keeps producing, there may be a different kind of...